This is a graph of all the DDoS attacks that happened to Destiny 2 yesterday within a one hour time period. You'll notice there's a good amount of regular activity, but then there are random green spikes happening, and each and every one of those spikes is a DDoS attack to Bungie's servers. Through just the course of this one hour recording I have here, you can see so many different DDoS attacks happening to the game, and it's because of these DDoS attacks that you're experiencing a huge rise in error codes. Bungie addressed that there were DDoS attacks happening to them on September 19th, which was six days ago at the time I'm recording this video. With this tweet right here, they said the team has confirmed that these error codes are not related to the planned fixes rolling out for the recent crafting issue and are instead a result of DDoS attack. Now keep in mind that even though that was six days ago, those error codes and all those server issues actually began maybe four days before that even. So we're going on about 10 consecutive days now where Destiny 2 has been very consistently and very heavily DDoSed. To further illustrate just how bad the DDoS situation is, you can actually pull up the population charts on Steam for Destiny 2. And when you do so, you'll notice that the squiggly line here dips super low, followed by a population boost over and over and over again. And this is representative of multiple DDoS attacks happening within a 24 hour period. Just to give comparison to, this is what Apex Legends population looks like on Steam. The previous Destiny 2 chart was over a seven day period. And similarly, this Apex Legends chart is also over a seven day period. You'll notice how they have a very consistent player base with spikes and population happening during their peak hours. And most live service games that you'll find on Steam will have a very similar chart looking like the Apex Legends chart. Destiny 2's chart just looks absolutely wonky and crazy. And it's wild that this is actually what it looks like currently. This is a crazy time to be a guardian. And I think it's even more crazy when you actually get to look at the graph and see it before your eyes. I know that many people were speculating, well, maybe Bungie's servers just suck. Maybe they crossed a wire somewhere. Maybe it's their own fault. And while I understand why people might want to throw Bungie under the bus for this, I do think that this is the cause of a DDoS attack. As they've stated, and as the evidence shows, I don't think that this just has to do with Bungie having literal potato servers, because even though that has been the case for the last nine years, we've all experienced terrible error codes and issues with the Bungie servers. They've never been this bad in the history of Destiny before, other than maybe launch days of new expansions. And with this issue being persistent over the course of the last 10 days, it's actually starting to get pretty worrisome. How long will these DDoSers be able to hold Destiny 2 down? Is this going to be an issue that goes on for another week, two weeks, another month? How long will it take Bungie to get ahead of this issue to actually fix it? At this point in time, we've seen next to no communication from Bungie minus their first initial tweet. And I think part of the reason lies with them not wanting to fan the flames. They don't want to let the DDoSers know that they have so much power over them. But the reality is that whether they say something or not, everyone knows what's going on now. The game is turning into a complete show and becoming quite literally unplayable at times. I can't help but feel like it's probably time for Joe Blackburn to step up and turn on that stream again and give us a spicy new video saying, you know, yo, 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 it's your boy, Joe Blackburn, bringing you another spicy Destiny 2 dev update. But in all likelihood, Bungie probably won't address this issue until they're able to at least fix it is my guess. I don't know what fixing it means in regards to DDoS attacks, but whatever it takes to actually fix the issue, Bungie needs to put their foot on the gas pedal fast because at this point in time, they're basically just giving their entire player base a reason to just play other games because this game is falling apart right now. And just as I'm in the middle of recording this video, we have a potential update. Now this could be just merely coincidence and have nothing to do with the current DDoS situation in Destiny 2, but something that we've been looking for is who are the attackers of Bungie right now? Who are sending these DDoS signals? And Dexerto, which is a credible news outlet, just tweeted out saying this, ransomware group claims to have breached Sony systems, which the first thing we need to be clear about is that Bungie getting DDoS isn't a direct correlation to Sony. Obviously, Sony did acquire Bungie for $3.6 billion, so they do quite literally own the studio. And if Sony's systems have been breached and they're currently being ransomed by these cyber terrorists, then there could be a possible correlation between these two. But again, this could just be complete coincidence and there could be nothing related here. The only reason why I bring this up is because at this point in time, we actually have absolutely no leads across the board as to who is responsible for these DDoS attacks, which is again, really quite interesting considering the amount of money and effort it would take to actually do this. Someone would have to be extremely influential and powerful and more than likely if they were to do this for an extended period of time, like they've done this now for 10 days, they are probably looking for some kind of ransom from Bungie. I doubt that they would 
end up getting it, but that might very well be the goal. That might be what's happening here. Again, I have to say this all with an allegedly and that this is purely speculation. If I do get an update more on the ransomware situation, I'll bring you another video as I'm definitely following this one very closely. Let me know your thoughts about the situation down in the comments below. Hopefully Bungie brings us an update soon. And if they do, you already know that we'll be bringing you that news video when it drops. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel, smash the like button and click on the screen here to watch another video from the channel. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Later.